Please remember to subscribe, click like, and click the bell icon for all the notifications on this channel. So I got through watching The Walking Dead Season 10, Episode 10, entitled Stalker. In this episode, we got to see Beta sneak his way into Alexandria. We saw classic clash of good and evil in regards to uh, Alpha and Daryl. Gamma gets captured by Gabriel and Rosita. And also we see the return of Lydia, who helps out Daryl after Daryl was pretty much seemingly mortally wounded. He looked like he was done. So did Alpha. You know, they both were pretty severely, you know, hurt. I mean, Daryl took a, a knife to his uh, thigh there, his leg, upper leg there. And then when, some, and then when uh, Alpha was summoning the, you know, the walkers by pounding her, using her shotgun and pounding it against a, uh, a wall there, or that you know, that metal, you know, wall that she was up against, and he had to pull the knife out in order to kill one of the, the last of the walkers that were on him. You see some blood spurting out, and I thought he was going to bleed out, but apparently, in a what seemingly I thought was a dream sequence, but in fact, Lydia did return to her mom. Her mom was very, you know, dizzy. She was, it was blurry. Her vision. And she actually wanted her daughter to kill her and then take over and be the new leader. She decided not to. And when she wakes up, Daryl's gone and so is she. I thought it was a dream sequence, but then we see Lydia right next to Daryl. Apparently took care of her, took care of him. And I'm sure, you know, she did a tourniquet and kept blood from, you know, from him bleeding out and everything, took care of him. And but she's back, and I'm glad she's back. She's one of the characters that I like. And we'll see what happens, because she did leave, especially especially because it was Carol that kind of made her get upset and leave. And I think Carol's been doing a lot of that lately. So uh, I don't even know where she's at. She was not in this episode. I didn't see Jerry. I didn't see Carol, like I said. And I didn't see um, Kelly. But... In the preview of the next episode, you see them. You actually see Yumiko, too. So I'm pretty sure she's going to be told of what happened to um, to Magna and to, uh, you know, old girl, what's her name? <laughs> but, uh, you know, you know, uh, Connie, yeah, okay. Trying to remember her name. But, you know, I, I've been, uh, you know, watching the uh, Walking Dead since the beginning, and they do have their ups and downs when it comes to their episodes, the seasons. Some say this one was better than the last one. Some say that it's not gotten any better since, I don't know what, four or five, right? People have turned away because of what happened with the whole Negan thing when he bashed, you know, Glenn and... Abraham's Henson and you know and all that stuff. I kind of made it went a little really over the top with that, but I liked it, you know. And I do like Alpha and Beta, and I do like the Whispers uh, dynamic in this thing, their storyline. That's something that everybody's been waiting on because they're very well known in the comics, and people kept talk we're talking about them all the time. When are they going to show up? And they continue to be very a very interesting part in this uh, whole you know season. Past few season actually too, and uh, I thought that uh, the the fight between Alpha and Daryl was really really good. You know, we actually see, you know, pretty much two two of the the two alphas of the group, you know, of the separate groups go at it. You would think Beta 
was the alpha, you know, I mean, the alpha male going up against Daryl, who was the alpha male at that group, right? But it was actually him and Alpha, and Alpha and he were, you know, I mean, Daryl at one point had a, a tree stump or a piece of a tree, and he was, sh you know, shoving it, he sh you know, he stabbed her with it, or, and he was just pushing it in, pushing it in, you know what I mean? And he was trying to kill her. And um, he really couldn't get uh, a good, uh, he couldn't even fight off some of the, the walkers that he got caught up in who were being led by, you know, Alpha. And he was blinded because there's a lot of blood in his face, in his eyes, because he got slashed in the forehead. I don't know where forehead, maybe the face. But uh, I love that, um, the, you know, when and when Beta, who was able to sneak into the or find his way through a like a tunnel that, you know, um, Dante was able to dig while he was there, you know. I'll tell you the one who killed Sadiq, who was a, pretty much a spy and a guy who infiltrated uh, Alexandria, pretending to be a friend. But in fact, you know, he ends up killing Sadiq, like I said, leaving poor Coco uh, as an orphan. And, you know, she pretty much was the love of, uh, you know, Rosita. I mean, he was the love of Rosita, you know, even though she kind of pretty much recovered. And now she's with Gabriel again. And I think when something happens to Gabriel, she'll end up with uh, someone else. I mean, you know. Like I said in the past uh, review, I said, you know, you got to get it where you get it, I guess, you know. But uh, anyway, we see, uh, you know, when he came in and he kills, like the, you know, he kills the, some of the Alexandrians who are in uh, one of the houses there. And then he gets into it with uh, Rosita. Rosita puts up a good fight, but she was overpowered by him. And she was injured, hurt, but she wasn't killed. I thought she was going to. Actually, there was a point where she was going to. And then Gamma, who was captured by Alpha, I mean, Alpha, uh, Ga uh, Gabriel and Rosita. And, uh, you know, when he got in there, he specifically went to the, to, the, to the jail cell and, you know, told her that she was going to come to him with him and meet her death at Alpha's hands. And, you know, she's the one who actually saved Rosita and said that, hey, he had a knife to her, to her throat saying, if you, you need me alive, so why don't you come to me? Because he kept saying in the jail cell, come to me, you know, and she was all saying, I'm not afraid of you, you know, and they go together. And then, uh, you know, Gabriel is with his guy, with his crew, and they come up on them. And there's so many of them that Beta just ran off. And Yama had to beg uh, uh, you know, Gabriel to believe her that she wasn't going with him, like she wasn't behind, behind all this with him and all this stuff. That's what it, you know, kind of looked like, right? And then he, you know, lowers his uh, shotgun. And there we see them at the end. He's in the, a carriage, uh, whatever they call that. And they're off, I guess, to the hilltop, I guess. I'm not sure where they're going. I think they're going to hilltop. And, you know, Rosita is more receptive of her and even says, yeah, I'm Rosita. And, she goes, I'm Mary, and then Rosita goes, I know. Because Rosita actually punched her when he came upon Gamma at first. And said, I don't believe her, put her in the cell. And then, you know, and then she had to convince Gabriel. Because Gabriel was, you know, he's a, he's, a, he's a father, he's a priest. He's, you know, heard so many confessions, and he knew that she was holding like, something against, uh, something from them. But she told him that her sister died because, you know, her sister had a baby, and that was the baby that was left the field, the cornfield, wherever it was, right? And they rescued her. They rescued the baby. And I guess the baby's with them. I've never seen who the baby was. They maybe they've shown it, but I, I don't think I ever caught it. And she wanted to see her her nephew or her niece. I get her, her her niece, yeah. And you know when she tells them Gabriel that uh, that I killed my sister. He didn't believe her and said that, you know, because he knew. He, he felt that there was something there that, that, you know, she was hiding from him. And there was a kind of a thing of a back and forth. Like, they just didn't know because you know how many people have they dealt with, right? That they thought they could trust. And then what happens? Especially the thing that happened with Dante. They were not going to, you know, after that, they're not going to, uh, you know, they're not going to trust anybody again after that. But, 
you know, uh, the one thing about that was like, was what I liked about this episode as well is the fact that Lydia made her return. I like her character. I think the actress is uh, very, very good. She really does um, know how to present a character that's very vulnerable, very lost, confused, but at the same time, you see strength in her. And you see that, especially in this episode, you see what she did, you know, she actually came to her mother. I thought it was a dream sequence. And her mother wanted her to kill her and said that you're going to take over and lead that I prepared you for this moment. You're going to lead them, you know, lead the whispers. He said, that's not why I'm here. I'm not here for them. I'm not here for you. And then when she wakes up, you know, uh, uh, Alpha, she notices that Daryl's gone and so is her daughter. And then we see Lydia at the side of Daryl. Apparently she helped him heal. She, I'm sure, did a tourniquet, kind of cut the bleed, you know, to stop the bleeding. I mean, maybe it wasn't that bad because, I mean, he, he took that knife out. That's what Alpha stabbed him with during their, their squirmish, their fight. And he used that to kill the last walker that was led in there because Alpha's, you know, shotgun, she's banging on the, on the metal door or the metal wall there, you know, and attracted their attention, you know. He was able to kill them off. But it seemed like Daryl's just like a guy that is just like, he's like, damn, Energizer Bunny, man. He just keeps going and going. It's like, there's so many moments that we thought he was going to die. And I thought he was going to die in this one, you know. I thought Rosita was going to die. But it's going to be, it's, going to, it's eventuality. I believe that, like I said in my last, re- my last video, my last review, that I think they're both going to be gone. I know, the I mean, you know, Michonne is going to be gone. She already announced that it's her last season. But we haven't seen her for two episodes yet. So I don't know. Uh, I thought she was in this episode because when Rosita called out to Judith, because Judith was talking to Mary, who is Gat Gamma, but her name is Mary, in the jail cell, and Judith was talking to her. All of a sudden, you hear Judith, you know, like that. And I thought that was Michonne, but it was Rosita. You know, this uh, episode had a lot of uh, just moments that you just wanted to look away, because especially with the thing with Daryl. You know, and with Rosita and thinking that they were going to die, you know, and you're looking away like, ah, I don't want to see it, you know, but uh, it's eventuality. Oh, sorry, you know, sorry, sorry to say, you know, I'm pretty sure that they're going to be gone. So, you know what I mean? Uh, I hope not. You know, we could definitely stand to see Rosita and Daryl, you know, in, in later seasons, but who knows, you know. But I enjoyed this episode. I, uh, I thought that it was well done, you know, and, you know, I just, you know, The Walking Dead just continues to get better, you know, I mean, this episode, I mean, this season is very strong, season 10 is very strong, and the first two episodes were really great, and I like how they're just continuing to build that tension, you know, and they're continuing to just build up to the major, like, because I mean, we've never seen the the Walker, the, the 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 Whispers, and Alexandra and Hilltop, and all of them just get into it and have a sustained fight. I mean, they they they, they clashed before, but you know we've never seen that ultimate like thing. You'll probably see that in the last episode of this season. Or we'll we'll see a full on thing where people are going to be dying. There's going to probably be only a handful left on this side and a few on this side, and you know then what? You know season eleven because season eleven's coming. But uh, who knows, you know, um, she even did that whole thing, you know, after she recovers and she's like declaring that she's stronger than ever. And then she starts doing that chant. You know, we are one, you know, we bathe in blood. That whole mantra that she says, you know, that um, it was just uh, eerie and it was very like, Oh man, she's uh, getting her second win now. So, yeah, and we see in the in the upcoming you know preview that they're prepping themselves now. They're like, you know, bearing down, and they know that, uh oh, here it comes this guy's going to be coming at us now and stuff. And wow, you know, this, this it was a great it was a great episode. I enjoyed it, and. Uh, for those of you who stopped by and uh, checked out this video, I appreciate it. Uh, for those of you who are supporting my channel, I appreciate it. Sometimes I feel like, should I stop it or not? 
But then I but then there's always somebody who'll come along, give me a nice compliment. Um, I'm picking up subs, you know, slowly but steadily, you know, and I, I appreciate that. Please, just if you like my channel, if you like what you see, spread the word. You know, I would very much appreciate it because sometimes you feel like you do all this work and it's for naught. You know what I mean? But you know, so like I said, you know, thanks for supporting my channel, those of you. And for those of you who stopped by, like I said, I appreciate it very much, you know, because it really, really does lift me up. And to see reaction on my channels is great. See subs and especially views is great. So when you watch this video, after you're done watching it, please give me a like, share, and subscribe. I know it says that in the beginning of my videos, but I'm saying it again so that you guys won't forget. But anyway, like I said before, uh, I appreciate your help and your support, I should say. And in closing, as always, take care.